everyone and welcome back to my channel. In my last video I talked all about how to make your social media more accessible for people with disabilities and I mentioned in that I was going to make a second video about how to make your YouTube channel more accessible for people with disabilities. Today that is what I'm going to be talking about. So I have five top tips I would like to share about how to make your YouTube channel more inclusive and accessible but before I get any further into this video I'd also like to just say if you enjoy my channel and want to support me you can do just simply by clicking the subscribe button and also by clicking the notification bell so that you get updated when I post new videos it's very much appreciated and it's completely free. YouTube for some people is like their business it's their livelihood and it's good practice to make your channel more inclusive and if you have the time and if you want to learn more then I hopefully can shed some light on that for you today. Tip number one add closed captions. People ask what are closed captions? Closed captions are text transcriptions of video audio which you can turn on or off as you want and closed captions will not only include things like dialogue like you do with subtitles but it also includes things like other audio information like sounds, background noises and any sound effects that might be intrinsic to the video that a person who is hard of hearing or deaf cannot hear. Now you can either pay for someone to do it, you can ask your followers and your subscribers to do it via the community contributions tab or you can do it yourself. Now for me I've done it via the last two options. I've had some really lovely followers who have added closed captions to my videos in the past through the community contributions tab. The way that I do them myself I will go on to the automatic captions that YouTube has uploaded to my video after it has been processed and I alter it. You just have to tweak the words, all the timing's already done for you, you just have to go in and tweak things and just change it around. I would definitely recommend trying to add closed captions to your videos because it's not only useful for people who are deaf and hard of hearing but also for people who speak a different language and who might want to translate your videos as well but also it can help you get higher in the algorithm because when you have captions in your videos, YouTube's algorithm can recognize keywords. What does that mean? You can get more views. Tip two, make sure that you're being descriptive for your visually impaired audience. If you are going to be creating a video and there are visual things that a person with a visual impairment might not be able to see, make sure that you describe them. So for example, this heavily applies to people who do things that are very visual, like makeup YouTubers, fashion YouTubers, interior design YouTubers. Whenever I do any makeup looks on my channel, I'm always conscious about mentioning what the colour of a product is, what the finish is, and I also try to give exact detail on where a colour is in a palette for example. If you are making videos and things are very visual be sure to describe what the products are that you're using or the colours of things or the pattern or other design features that a person with a visual impairment might not be able to see. Tip number three, add links in your description as well as in the cards that you use in a video. If you mention in a video, click the link in the card above my head, someone who uses a piece of assistive technology, for example a screen reader or voiceover, might not find this particularly easy to click the link in a card. As well as adding links in cards, also be sure to add whatever links you post in the cards in the description box below, making it easier for people who are voiceover users to access them. Tip number four, be clear with what you're saying and don't have your music too loud. Now when you're doing a sit down video like this, it's important to remember not to have your music too loud so that it disturbs a person's ability to listen and to follow the dialogue in the video. I'm not gonna be a hypocrite, okay? When I first started making YouTube videos, I was the worst for this. If you do want to use music in a video, just be conscious of the kind of music that you're using and also the volume of it as well because it can be very distracting if it's too loud and it interferes with a person's ability to follow along with what you're saying. Tip number five, be clear about what your video contains. Now when posting videos, if you think that there might be things in a video that may be upsetting to people or may cause uh, particular strong reactions or may trigger some kind of mental health or cognitive reaction, then be clear about it. So for example, if your video has very loud noises or if it's got a lot of jump scares in it or if 
the video has a lot of flashing lights in it be sure to say that and stipulate that in your description and also try and add time codes in there as well for when that's going to happen it's good practice to just be clear about your videos what it's going to contain and just to try and be as sensitive as possible to the people who will be watching your videos so that concludes my five top tips on how to make your youtube channel more accessible for people with disabilities i really hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful be sure to let me know in the comments and if you've got anything of your own to add that I haven't mentioned in this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys!